Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday, about 7.40, and I'm going to start my game today, my live stream. So let's look at the rankings, just to check. Wow, okay. Swang Olong is proceeding to hack his points. He, yesterday he had 19,424 points, now he has... 21,031 points. That's again an increase of both 1,577 points. So he's he's obviously making it too obvious um, that he's hacking his points. So I guess he's going to be banned soon. Someone is going to complain about him, and uh, he's would be better off being a computer um, computer expert because obviously he knows how to. Um, hack into the game and um, hack his points. Anyway, let's um, play our, our game for today. Let's press play. And online match. And let's see who we get. Okay, all right. Is that bird? All right, press OK and move my Classical move, the best opening, which is this one, which is called Old Faithful. So I'll move from there to here. Let's see what his reply will be. I hope he plays. Oh no, he's got enough. He has enough experience to play. He shouldn't be uh, scared of me. Well, a couple more seconds. No one bites the dust, so let's try another person. Okay. Let's try another opponent. Okay. All right, same old move. I haven't changed. I've become an expert in this opening, so as they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. So I'm not gonna break it. I win nine out of ten games using this opening. Okay, as long as he moves, then I can uh, proceed moving out of the single corner, as I always do. I try to control the center and also not to move my um, any checkers away from the double corner because that is the weakest corner. Okay, I've got to double check that I can um, safely move the last one out of the corner, develop the um, single corner. So let's move this one. You can pin me here and try to um, get the um, because I've, I have an elbow here right now and that's why you always have to be careful moving out of the corner because you can easily form an elbow um, which if it's a very good opponent um, he can take advantage of that okay so let me head for my sweet spot as I always do I don't uh, go here I always do it this way because then I'm directly attacking his is is um, double corner. So let's just exchange. And he's already made a mistake by moving one of his checkers away from the back row. Which is not a good thing. As you can see, my back row is still intact, apart from the one that I moved away from the single corner. So let's take this way. Okay, so I want to move my man 
I want to uh, keep that there. I don't want to be squeezed. So what I'm going to do is to remove this checker here and then move this checker there to start forming my straight line towards double center. So let me just remove this checker here. Pull them away from the center. And now I've got two checkers into the center and he has zero checkers. Okay. And my next move will be that move that I have now have three checkers into the middle, but I'll just make sure it's safe. Yes, it is. You can't get a three shot, for example. If this checker was not here, he would get a, th a three shot. Okay. Again, he's making mistakes because he's allowing me to pull his checkers away from the um, his uh, back line. And, uh, and, and as you can, as I explained yesterday, oh, he's, I see why he did that. He's trying to get a three shot. Okay. Well, that's why he did it. He is looking for the three shot. Oh, what I can do, um, I can give away three checkers, one, two, I'll be giving away one, two, three checkers. I could give away three checkers and um, get a king, but um, let's not do that. Let's just block the, um, the triple there. So you got to watch out. Okay. So now I'm going to try to get a double. Okay, he's left his back row very wide open already. Yeah. As I explained yesterday in game number 14, you can uh, count if you're winning or not by counting his back checkers and his middle checkers. And at the moment, he's minus two plus four minus three, that is seven. Let me just play and set him up for a double. Um, he's minus four at the back, that's minus two, minus two is four. And then he's um, removed three of his checkers, so he's minus seven at the moment. <laughs> and I'm only minus uh, one, two, three, five. So obviously, you can see I'm, I'm winning at the moment. And then, of course, um, I've got the double. Can you see it? You can pause the video if you like. Uh, but everybody say, hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. hey, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. And he's lost the game. Okay. And you get a king make sure that you don't lose it immediately so if i place the king here and then i uh, take it out i could he could exchange here and i'm gonna lose my king straight away but there's no danger of um me getting a king at the moment so let me just get a king so he's he moved all his checkers from the back row so it's it's almost he's almost lost. Okay, let's see what he can do. Now that I've got a king, you can calculate <clears throat> how many um, move he has left, and we just have to face off um, our, our checkers. So what he can he's, what he can do is obviously squeeze me there. So let me just prevent that. Play it here. I can't play, use this checker to play there because then he can really squeeze that checker there. Okay. Well, let me start coming behind him because that is what kings are very good at is attacking from the back because they can move backwards and also jump backwards. So let me start chasing him down.
Oh, and if he's just going to give up, <clears throat> he may just give up. Yep, it looks like it. He should just play it out. Hey, well, that's all. As I say, that's all, folks. It was a short game, but again, it demonstrates that as long as you can pull his checkers away from the his back line, he more or less gonna lose. Unless um, he's a very good player, then he could probably um, win or draw. And that is what I did in one game. I forgot which game it was that um, my opponent pulled all my checkers from my um, back row, but I still managed to get a win. Okay. So have a great game, guys. If you like um, my daily streams, please click on the like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm.